for Romper. I got in Brooklyn. We are in New York City's most stylish neighborhood, and later I'm taking you to a secret warehouse full of vintage clothing. Some of this clothing is over 50 years old and has never been worn. I just turned 80. Whoa, oh, look at that. This is rare. And being in Brooklyn, it's good to be in Brooklyn. Brooklyn forever. God bless. What's up, y'all? We are back. A lot of you have been asking where I've been, why I haven't uploaded in a minute. It's been like two weeks, seems like forever, right? Well, if you didn't know, New York turned into an orange cloud. Our top story, the air quality alert. Leaders say the air quality has not been this bad since the 1960s. Was not trying to be an on the grounds reporter for that. But we're back in business now. It's a beautiful day in New York City. And I have this new question I've been wanting to ask people on the street. What are you wearing today? I have this little romper. I got it from L Train in Brooklyn. It has like little built-in white shorts underneath, loosened the straps, and cowboy boots. They're from a friend. Amazon or something. They don't feel too hefty. This is from a shop in London. It's called like Aiko, A-I-K-O. It was a birthday gift. I don't know if it's real or not, um, but there's a little heart with it as well. The rest of it is like from a boutique in Soho. Little fun jewelry. And then the glasses are Coach, I believe. The only thing that I know the brand, actually. <laughs> but I love them. They're cute. No worries. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Thank you. What are you wearing today? Oh, wow. That's a good question. The jacket is Brooklyn Circus. The t-shirt is by Epicent. Pants are by Candy Castle. Don't catch my feet. <laughs> but uh, the shoes, um, 80s. The hat is a uh, old school vintage, and the ring is from a store in Brooklyn on Franklin and Pacific Street. Phone. <laughs> Apple. Right, Apple. <laughs> Where do you get your style inspiration from? Life. Beautiful people like her, and it just grows. It grows. Style is infinite. I'm not a fashion oriented person, I'm definitely style driven so i put my style together according to how i feel not according to what the trends are putting out in the world we have a design firm uh ishka designs i-s-h-k-a ishkadesigns.com we do restaurants hospitalities residential commercials all kinds of stuff wow. so ground up what is one thing you're passionate about right now more on that later so stay tuned what, what are you wearing today i'm wearing a little vintage jacket that actually is part of a full suit. I think it's like a really vintage Linda Ellard. I love that blazer. Thank you so much. I love it pants. Too. Pants are just like a pair of random slacks. Someone just said I looked like David Bowie alternate <laughs> ego when he's like wearing like the vest and like the long suits, you know? Yeah, it looks like you're about to strike a business deal. <laughs> well, you know, maybe. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing Zara. Zara. And I have no idea where this is from but it's also green, so yeah. Beautiful. Thanks. How about your boots? And uh, uh, Vagabond boots are the best. No blisters. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Whatever I listen to in the morning. I think I listened to like springtime jazz mix or something today. Literally was like, all right, <laughs> green, green it is. We're going for pirate wench look today. So that works out great. I heard a little Italy pizza was fire. This is me just throwing something on with a little bit of razzle dazzle, Uniqlo, this shirt. I think I got from uh, the bodega. This is daily paper, one of my favorites, because it's actually reversible. So you got two different pants in one. So you could flip it and it's like, it has like this inside out type of look. But what's cool about it is they engineered it to go both ways. There's another set of pockets on the other side. The shades are guests, some Doc Martens with some character on it. All right, all right. I just, you know, threw this together. That's the beauty of when you buy pieces. It's like a puzzle, like, you know, you buy a, diff a bunch of different pieces. So when you're just like, I'm about to throw something together, you just pull from those pieces and then you come up with something cool. No doubt. It's about the look and feel and how it lays. I don't care where it's at. It could be from Target. If it looks good and it lays right on me, I'm copping. I don't like logos like that. I don't like feeling like a billboard. So it's like, if you know, you know. Exactly. Yeah. What are you wearing today? Uh, I'm wearing some pants that are from a shop called Ruta from Ibiza. I'm a singer, songwriter, and I just released a single called Chemistry. Wow. I'm Sarita. Search it on Spotify or iTunes and share it with everyone. <laughs> this blazer is from Asus? Asus? Which is, I think, a, um, a Macy's brand. It keeps me cool. 
in the heat, man. It keeps me cool in the heat. What about the bag? Uh, the bag is off of grail. It's like a Japanese sling bag. Everyday use. I could throw my throw my tripod in here, throw everything I need, <laughs> laptop. So I keep that on me. Skirt is from Muji. The uh, like Japanese IKEA, that's what I like to call it. But they sell clothes in there. Pants is from Muji as well. The boots are Junior. Watanabe. Yeah, man. I think I outdid myself, but I'm pretty proud of this fit. What do you do for a job? I'm actually a music producer. I work for Epidemic Sound. I'm one of the producers in the label. Oh, that's sick, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. What are you wearing today? A jort. <laughs> Just a jort, that's it? Just a jort. Where did you get it from? Got it from this place called Funny Pretty Nice. Yeah. What are your style inspiration? Um, whatever sort of manic episode I'm in that day. <laughs> <laughs> So today, this is the mood. One thing I love most about Brooklyn is unlimited pizza spots. Two Boots Pizza. Two Boots is known for a cornmeal crust. I didn't know that was a thing. Off the bat, it's a really solid slice. Not much flop at all. A little bit salty, but nothing really to complain about. I'm satisfied to say the least. I'm gonna rate this out of five Ralph. Ralph is the name of my dog. 4.5 Ralphs. I am wearing a dish set. Um, it's an Australian company, all linen. It's very comfortable actually. And I'm wearing these sambas that I just got in Amsterdam because they're sold out everywhere here. Sunglasses are Prada. They like this fun green color and I usually don't wear a lot of colors. So I was like, let me switch it up a little. It's my favorite color actually. All my accessories are kind of green and then my bag is Bottega. It's a small Jody. Nice. Yeah. I love this linen. I love linen too. And honestly, it's great for the summer because it's just like airy and light. Exactly. Yeah, and this one doesn't wrinkle a lot, so dish is, dish is a good place to go. What are you wearing today? I am wearing, let's see, some Tevas, some splatter paint pants, did them myself, some vintage Lee waffle knit tee, some thrift find thing I got in Berlin, and then uh, got this on Grailed. Well done. Thank you. What material are the pants? I think they're linen. I don't know, some cotton. Yeah, just kind of splatter painted them myself though. What are you wearing today? Cleanest shit in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> Some comfy capris. This is vintage. I mean, I think these are fake Prada shoes. Oh, I got this from a guy on the corner over there. He's really nice. Love the fit today. Thanks. So I am wearing this t-shirt I just got today from Buffalo Exchange. It was $16. I actually exchanged a Celine bucket hat for the shirt. And if you want to check out the back. So this is the Grim Reaper. How about your pants? Pants? These are from, I forget where these are from. They're very old and I haven't worn them in forever. And I did lose a bit of weight recently and they used to be a bit tighter, but they look more Y2K, a bit loose. So I'm kind of vibing with them. And these sandals I, I got just maybe a month or two ago from um, Assembly New York on Ludlow, I believe. Assembly New York, the brand is called Intentionally Blank and they're very affordable, very affordable. And these are vintage um, Gianni Versace. So check these out with the Medusa. These are classic. I forget if these are like 80s or 90s, but they're vintage. These are from uh, what goes around. You got a lot of jewelry too. I do, yes, I do. From the M Jewelers. This is obviously Vivian West with the Queen. Gosh, Chanel. The rings, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of rings here. Rolex. This is from Majuri. They just opened a new store in Williamsburg. I thought it was cute with the emerald to my birthstone. Chill. Yeah, and then belly button rings. So you like gold? I love gold since forever. What are you wearing today? Pilgrim. This is from Bias and Leon in bed -Stuy Vintage Shop. The shoes are from Noah. This is my grandfather's watch from God knows how long. And the jacket's from Supreme. And Love your outfit today. Thank you. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Punk rock, like the, I guess like the late 90s, early 2000s and the techno scene. I was a DJ. Very Zioni. And the rest are probably from thrift stores. Wow. <laughs> how you. about you? <laughs> Well, I got everything from White House Black Market online purchases from the top to the bottom except for the shoes. Beautiful. Where do you get your style inspiration from? I think you're born with that. Uh, it's inherent. I just always liked fashion. Are you from New York? I'm from Germany. And you too? Manhattan.
So you might ask, what are you going to do with all that? I couldn't just leave all the rare pieces behind. I had to come up with a plan to salvage the situation. So I came up with an idea to make a collection out of vintage clothing. But first, we dig. What am I passionate about? Being here, being alive, right? Being alive, moving, grooving, breathing in this Brooklyn air, and um, that's it. And being in Brooklyn. It's good to be in Brooklyn, right? I Brooklyn agree. forever. Love that. Bless. What's that? $2 bill. A $2 bill. Oh, look at that. Is it real? Yes, sir. Uh, all right. Love, man. Take care. Bless. I manage a perfume store around the corner. Right now, I'm really passionate about dancing. I'm like, ready for a hedonistic summer and just been spending a lot of time, you know, following the good vibes and dancing and having fun with my friends. Like, I'm going to a lot of dance parties this summer. I was at one last night. I'm ready to go again this weekend. Sounds fun. Ah, yeah. oh, thank you so much. Yes. This is actually my second from you. I have one, like, taped on the wall. I'm in school right now. I go to Pace University. What are you studying there? I'm studying marketing. What is one thing that you're passionate about right now? Oh, one thing that I'm passionate about, I have an advertising agency. It's called Doghouse Agency. It's student ran, predominantly by women. Uh, we have five clients. We just do a variety of different things regarding marketing. My friend Bella, she started it um, and she needed somebody to kind of run it. So I'm the executive director of the advertising agency. It's really exciting. It all kicked off like within the past five months. We went from like maybe five members to now we have I think 10 or 11 members and five clients, which is just like absurd. I love that. <laughs> so you. something I do is I give the $2 bill to people with nice style. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I love it. It's unique. It's different. <laughs> what is one thing that you're passionate about right now? Where are you from? Italy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Take care. What is one thing you're passionate about right now? Music. Always music. <laughs> Playing music. Buying music. Records. Lots of records. Yeah, I buy a lot of music. Oh, look at that. A two dollar bill. Where'd you find that? Peace. Take care. See ya. I'm a geologist. Whoa. Yeah. You drill. 
and you get soil and you take samples. Pretty easy. What is one thing you're passionate about right now? The environment. Love that. Well, I appreciate it. Take Thank care. you. What is something that you're passionate about right now? I am passionate about self-discovery and self-sovereignty. Self-sovereignty is very important to me right now. You may not receive freedom from others, but you can always claim it for yourself. I love that. Yeah. Ooh, uh, that's cool. Rare. Two dollar bills? Yeah. So Let's go. So it's good style. Well, thank you. This is very fun. Cool. Is this real? Of course. I haven't seen one of these in forever, but I'm really excited about this. Up top. Take care. You too. One thing I'm passionate about is seeing an artist in service to the creative community, creating platforms and providing opportunities that put talented artists in more lucrative positions. That's what my purpose is, and I'm moving in alignment with that. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. That's okay. You just have a stash. It's, this is yeah, rare. Like Thank it. you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. What is one thing you're passionate about right now? Oh my goodness. A lot of things. I think uh, photography. I used to be a photography teacher back in the day. So I think photography has crept back into my life. And I just take pictures of everything and everyone all the time. I love that. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. I've never seen one like that before. Damn. Also matches. Thank you. Perfect. What is something you're passionate about right now? Everything I'm doing is with intention. Something I'm super passionate about is hitting New York in the fashion scene. I want people to see that you can do whatever you want, man. And I want financial freedom. Financial freedom, that's the biggest goal of mine. That's like something that I'm super passionate about. No doubt. Yeah. Oh, damn. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so where do you get your style inspiration from? Probably I collect most of my inspiration on Pinterest. I just like to mix different brands and kind of see what works for me. I like to be comfortable, so that's like my main thing. I'm a product designer. I design apps and I design websites. I work in-house at like a VC firm, so I work for a bunch of different clients. What is one thing that you're passionate about right now? Ooh, that is me on the spot. Right now, I've been really passionate about trying to design different home goods. I'm like kind of redoing my place, so it's been really nice. I'm like trying to dabble into like designing blankets and different things like that. It's fun. Yeah, and I really want to like support uh, local artists or like individual artists that can kind of work with different brands because I think like we buy all of our stuff from like West Elm or this or that and it's kind of cool to like just hear about different different artists. For sure, I love that. Oh my god, thanks. <laughs> That's really nice. What do you do for a job? Working service, a server, and I make theater. What is one thing you're passionate about right now? Live performance. Theater, dance, stuff like that. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. What do you do for a job? I'm a tattoo artist at Live by the Sword on Bedford. What's your name? <laughs> Alex. Nice to meet you. You too. What is one thing you're passionate about right now? Just my art, just keeping it going and like improving, learning from my coworkers and staying focused on that. Oh, thanks, dude. Take care. Have a good what do you do for a living? We finally we retired. retired. I just turned 80. What? Yes. <laughs> what did you do for a living in the past? The hotel business. Same. What is one thing you're passionate about right now? I think this clothes always remains. Besides peace, you know, having a good time in old age. If you give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Don't take yourself too seriously. I think that's good advice. <laughs> yeah. No. It doesn't exist to dollar bills. But it does. does it? It does. This no, is it real. Doesn't. They're rare. Yeah. Really? It is, it's, it's for real? It's for real, yes. Really? Thank so you. when you become famous, we can say that you gave us a two dollar bill. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Don't forget, I love you so much. And until next time, peace.